as the world commemorated the International Women's Day 2021 on March 8th, women leaders across all sectors have called for the recognition of women's rights. The women leaders with representation from the government, civil society organizations, international non-governmental organizations, among others, made the charge during an interactive session between the Joint United Nations Program on HIV and AIDS, UNAIDS and women leaders in Nigeria. Among other things, they are calling for a change in the approach towards female-focused challenges. Nigeria is such a large country with so much and yet because of the absence of women in decision making, millions of Nigerians are suffering from no cost. We cannot raise on our own. We cannot give up. We will continue to challenge. We have the highest population and our children are the ones suffering. And you want us to keep quiet? No. 808 women dying every day, giving birth due to some pregnancy or childbirth-related issue. 808. That is two women, for one woman for two minutes is dying because of pregnancy. Most of this can be avoided. One key thing that I did, that women need to be more aware of and be deliberate at that person is this issue of um, imposter syndrome. Self-imposed barriers, where the women simply look at themselves and they think that leadership belongs to men. Nothing happens that's not meant to happen. We want to get women in political representation, then it's going to make it happen. They, however, called for government at all levels to be held to account in carrying out its constitutional function of serving the people. They need to continue to hold our federal government accountable and our state government accountable on the issue of police schooling. Whether we are talking about gender-based violence or HIV or maternal and infant society, they have all the laws, they have all the policy tables, they have all the virtue. Throughout the month of March, people will come and say all, give all kinds of speeches about the same issue. We need a demonstration of these schools through the, the application of financial resources, human resources, technical resources, material resources. It will be disastrous for us as a nation not to listen to the young people. We must understand that our young people have intelligence, they have technology, they have social media, they have creativity. And they're not ready to stay the way we stay. And we're waiting, we're told that we're leaders of tomorrow and we believed it. And we're here today and we're not leaders. We're not even allowed to be leaders. They do not want that. They know they're leaders of today and they're ready to take it on. We're not seeing enough investment in being able to provide access to GPP services. We're not, we're not investing in what works in terms of prevention. Right now, when we talk about GPP prevention in Nigeria, we're talking about community sensitization. We're talking about really basic things. But what works in terms of prevention for us to be able to do at the scale? Because right now, our response system is not strong enough to be able to respond to that. I think one of the things we need to engage with, and, and it's happening already, but we need it um, for everyone in this room, is the constitutional review. And I think we all really need to engage with that process, and more needs to be done to, to, you know, to get the general public involved, to be able to hold accountable. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.